Hallo und moin moin, mein Name ist Bennett SLP und willkommen zu Getting Over It mit Bennett 40. Ich weiß nicht, ob ihr dieses Spiel gehört habt, aber dieses Spiel war all the rage a month ago und uh, <laughs> oh Gott, ich bin der King of Dead Memes, wie ihr you know, wisst und um, so this is uh, what I'm doing right now. No, like seriously, um, I've seen people freak out about this game. It's a bit ragey, rage-inducing, whatever. It's uh, uh, yeah, I kinda took a toll on Markiplier and PewDiePie and stuff. But um, that shouldn't bother me because I, I, I would never have bought this game, but I got it um, in the humble, bum, bu bu humble, bumble, bumbling idiot, just you know, uh, humble bundle trove. Uh, which I didn't even know existed until I like subscribed because I wanted to have Dark Souls 3. Um, more on that later. Uh, that's gonna be fun. Speaking of like rage and like hard games and stuff. Uh, yeah, but then I, I was like, oh cool. Subscribers apparently have like access to this trove, like this library of currently uh, 46 games that are just free and DRM free. You can just get them. Uh, like uh, as an as a raw as an install file or whatever, and then you could just have them. It's fucking awesome. So yeah, and, uh, getting over it was one of them. So fuck it. <laughs> I, I tried it out uh, last night a bit, like when I got it, and um, it was delightful. Usually this is so much not my type of game, but you know, curiosity killed the cat, and um, I was just like uh, very delighted, um, and it was fun. So. I don't know, let's try this for a video, I think. So, the um, objective of this game is you have uh, this guy in this cauldron. I have no idea why he is in a cauldron. This game does not have much of a lore, uh, but I bet there's fan fictions about this guy already. Uh, this is not Bennett 40, even though, um, I don't know, I think many people might wish this was Bennett 40, like uh, doomed to a life uh, in a cauldron. <laughs> With no legs and uh, I don't know, climbing up this mountain, this, uh, never getting to the top. But yeah, that's the gist of the game. You have you have this hammer and you control it with the mouse. You can control it with a joystick, I think, and also with the trackpad. Um, yeah, I think mouse is the best. I have um, I don't know my mouse. There's no the feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, just listen. as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. If you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. Oh yeah, so um all right. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry. I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. Oh. Too nice of you. Um this game is a homage to a free game that came yeah, out in 2002 titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. <clears throat> so yeah, let's let's just talk now. So yeah, the idea is you are this guy with the hammer scaling this. In a certain way, sexy hiking is the mountain of assets, of basically. Maybe this like all. It's uh, built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts. Yeah, for recycled parts. And it's one parts. of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. Just In it, your task hiking. is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. <clears throat> and that act of climbing in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Bad. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it 
prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Am I allowed the to obstacles in sexy hiking are unyielding, now? and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. Yeah, I know. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. So the frustration is just essential to the act of this part is actually one of the hardest parts. It's authentic to the process of, the of building a game so of far. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this map. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. <laughs> but I couldn't bring I'm myself to make I'm it easier. It. It. it already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. Ugh, what am I doing? <sighs> so, I'm allowed to talk now, right? So, yeah, this part with the lamp up there, it's uh, one of the hardest parts. Like, one of the really harder parts of the game actually like seriously um getting past this part and then falling down is absolute cancer and really disheartening um but right now i'm i'm doing okay i'm not doing too badly so come on i don't know how to do this and the mouse the controls are so sh bad i don't know like you move with the cursor, like this little like circle here, and but you always like see, you always kind of readjust to the hammer so that thing sometimes uh, moves on its own. And it's very hard to adjust to this. I don't know. Like some people found out like how to adjust this. Uh, so of course those people who finish the goddamn game like PewDiePie and uh, I think Mark applied it to I, I don't know oh, fucking hell um, and judging by what he said Kid Icarus did too but I don't fucking hell I don't I don't get this I don't get this I'm not one for precise control like for like pixel perfect or whatever it's called frame accuracy I don't know you know what I mean, right? You know, uh, like those speedrunner things that like, where you're like pixel perfect turning and, and steering and stuff oh. to get past a thing in best time. I don't know. Has nothing to do with this game probably. I'm just talking out of my ass. As I always do. I don't know. I, I didn't like bother in the beginning, but now we have some time um, to talk. Um, I mean, you ha must have noticed that uh, uh, two weeks into this year, I made my vlog, and then oh, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna like be more productive this year. I'm gonna make more videos." And now it's uh, it's uh, the fifth of February, and um, this is my first mm. video. I'm ah, fucking hell. I'm gonna bring out and hopefully in like edit and release very soon. Intent on doing it tonight. I don't know if I can do this, but. Maybe tomorrow, uh, like release tomorrow because editing and stuff like it also uploading takes a long time here because my PC <coughs> is not the strongest when it comes for like editing for processing power and shit, and uh, my internet is also shit and I don't know. Um, thing is, uh, I still have to get my time things right and I have to like. Like get rid of things that hold me back, or like uh, manage my my duties and my, and the things and uh, like in my life better. Of course, everybody needs to get that, but I don't know. Maybe it's because my my life is changing like all the time. Like I don't know. Uh, this is now my third job since I completed my apprenticeship in summer of 2016. Um, 
I guess people have worse track records staying at a company for only mm. three months instead of me like half a year but still um, I don't know it, it, it could have been better uh, I don't know if I should even talk about this personal stuff or if anybody even cares but I don't know I just feel like talking right now because I I don't know it helps me concentrate I, I, I need music or chatter or something in the background to, to uh, concentrate because I do not know Oh yeah, also this mountain kind of symbolizes something. This is something I want to talk about. Um, I wasn't so active in 2017, so I didn't... Uh, uh, I've talked about it before, but I didn't even realize that... Uh, have I talked about this in the vlog? I didn't even realize that in April 2017, uh, in the Apocalypse, they introduced that you now need 10,000 views on your channel to um, be able to monetize your stuff. And I, at that point, like when I realized that, like in early this year, had like over 5,000 views, um, which is amazing. And I'm extremely thankful for everyone. You've done this part before. You know it's possible. No, I've Just not do done this. The Shut time. the fuck up. I didn't do it before. I'm working on this for like minutes now. Whew. Um, uh, yeah, but what an idiot. Like, I was just talking to you. I hate this guy. Better at 40. Um... I don't know how to get past this, um, but yeah, I. But yeah, thank you for <laughs> giving me over five thousand views over these um, past like four years. Is it now that I'm on YouTube? I started in early twenty fourteen, and um, and uh, I'm so odd right now. Like this idiot, like he interrupted me. Um, like. Most of my views uh, <laughs> last year probably came from my April Fool's thing, uh, the Jacksepticeye trouble video, which stands at like over 600 views right now, which is absolutely amazing, but, uh, which shows me that I should meme more and be more about them memes and maybe make more of those shitty little meme videos like that one, because that was so much fun to do and I was so happy that people seemed to love this video and like share it and stuff, so I mean... My videos normally do not get 600 views, they get like 30 or 50, I don't know. Or in rare cases, like many more, a few hundred, like this, like part three, Poker Fusion. That was so weird. Um, oh yeah, thanks for that, that was awesome, Noah. Uh, now, beginning of this year, YouTube uh, changed their guidelines again. You might have heard of Logan Paul um, and the Suicide Forest thing, and YouTube did the responsible thing. One of their big favorite creators fucked up extremely, and YouTube decided to um, uh, change their rules so um, all the smaller channels get fucked over. Now you get like, I don't know, what was it, like 10,000 hours of watch time per month, or I don't know, like. like a thousand, I think, or maybe, or, 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 or like several hundred hours of watch time on your channel, and ah, fuck, and like a bunch of like subscribers or so. I, I don't even know. So, um, a goal that seems to be absolutely unattainable, unattainable for me for in long my long shot, like you know, for a long time, um, until like pff, until I suddenly start uploading daily and everybody like loves my shit which I don't think is ever gonna happen uh, fuck um, so yeah so happy birthday now you can definitely watch uh, like definitely all my videos are gonna stay ad, ad free for a long long time and uh, also this gives me some crea creative freedom for my memeing and for stuff like this for example I definitely know which uh, copyrighted song to use for this video um, from uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack? I don't know if it was one or two, but from one of those, there's this one song that's, the song that's like perfect for this game. And uh, now I don't have to worry about the YouTube fucking copyright uh, rules and, and, and the copyright school or whatever that, that Happy Tree Friends uh, video they, they made to be like, oh my god, we are so cool. Um, because I don't have to care about corporate anymore because it's not like I'm gonna make money off this uh, anytime. I, mean, I never did it for the money, like, don't get me wrong. But 
would have been nice. Uh, uh, wow, for this to my maybe is now, people have been be a career that games would soon be made balls. out of prefabricated objects, bought in a store and assembled into a world. And for the most part, that hasn't happened. Shut up. Because the objects in the stores are trash. Shut up. I don't mean they look bad Shut or that they're badly made. Shut up. Although a lot of them are. I mean they're Shut trash up. in the way that food yeah. becomes trash as Shut soon as you put it in the sink. Yeah, let's, um, I'm gonna Things are made now, to be so consumed wait. and used in a certain context. So the thing is, the that tree gone, down there on the left, that the tree down there, that was transparent, that was background. And I got flung to the left, this is like with the camera, but I got flung to the left, to the left, towards the tree. Like when I was like on the on on the wall here and stuff, and uh, if I hadn't managed to catch me on that rock, I would have fallen down, way down to the beginning of this whole mountain. So yeah, my my heart just stopped, and um, I'm just gonna try getting up here because this normally is very easy if you just get the momentum going. Ah, uh, or not. Ah, uh, fuck. Or, or, or maybe I just launch myself up way too uh, powerfully, then maybe hit the wall and push myself off to the left side and fall down all Over the Over time, way. we've poured more and more shut refuse into this up. vast digital landfill shut that we call up, the shut internet. Up, shut up, shut up. It now vastly outnumbers shut and outweighs up. the things that are fresh shut up, and untainted up. and unused. Shut up, shut up, shut up, when everything shut up, around shut up, us shut up, is cultural up, trash, up, up, trash up, becomes up. the new medium, the lingua franca of mm. the digital age. I'm not listening to you. And you can build culture out of trash, mm. but only trash culture. Mm. B games, B movies, Team 10, B music, low game, B philosophy. YouTube, 2017. <clears throat> Maybe this is what digital culture is. A monstrous mountain of trash, the ash heap of creativity's please, please fountain. Please no, please no. A landfill please no, please with no. everything we ever thought please of. No, in no, 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 shut, grand, shut, shut up. Infinite. Shut up. I have to concentrate. You're not poetic. Mm. I'm getting mad. <laughs> this never this happens. This 3D models of breakfast. Gen X's fanfic novels, scan magazines, green screen Shia LaBeouf, banned mm -hmm. snuff scenes on Live League. Facebook's got lifelike bots with unbranded adverts and candid shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups, car crash epic failed GIFs, Russian dashcam vids, discussions of McRibs, discarded, forgotten, unrecycled, muddled. Stop rhyming, rock, you idiot. Untitled. Stop r Shut the fuck up. Everything's fresh for about six seconds. Yeah. Until some newer thing beckons and we hit refresh. Oh, and shut years up. And there's years of persevering, disappearing you into the pile. You are not poetic, Bennett. Style. Out of oh, sight. Fucking hell. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Uh, I don't know if you know it, but down there, like there's a little safety net thing, but but if you fall like to the right side, then uh, there's a possibility of, to fall right down to the bottom of the mountain again. I'm gonna try this one more time. And then. I'm gonna call it quits. The episode has been going on for like 18, 19 minutes now. Um, I don't know how long it actually is. Like now it's 19 minutes from my game recording here. Um, <laughs> get, get me over there. I kind of want to save, find a safe, safe place to quit, but I wanna get up a little bit more. I'm gonna get greedy. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna go up those. Those uh, to. The oh, you just lost a lot of no, progress. No. No. That's a deep frustration. No. 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 Real punch in the gut. Good. Uh. <laughs> he is actually not right. Like this was not hard. Like I. Like I said, I could have fallen down, down that hole, that hole, and then like lost everything. That would have been the end of me in this game. Probably. But this is the end of the episode because I don't want to like push my luck and just fucking fall down into hell. So this is going to be it. Um, we are to 20 minutes now. Like what the fuck? Like PewDiePie would have already finished two videos in this time. So um, this is the end of me. This is the end of this episode. I am going to record another episode right after this because this is fun. This is so cool. 
Um, <laughs> I don't know. And I'm getting angry. I like it. Um, I never get angry normally. Like nothing ever gets me angry. But this game, seriously, that rage game I played like like all um all this time ago. Um, this Flash, Newgrounds, whatever game. Um. Uh, I don't even know. Um, give up. Of course, it was called Give Up. Yeah, but Give Up. Um, that didn't make me angry. <coughs> Not very much, at least. Because um, it's Flash game, and I'm pretty sure I've played it like all these years ago when I had my like high time phase of like Flash games, like ten years ago. Um, but this one is new, and this one is designed to make you angry. And this is better designed to make you angry than that old platformer there. So, I don't know. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling and I hate my, my late, my rambling is like always like talking for like five minutes before actually ending the episode. So, this is gonna be it and like I said, next episode right after this one. Well, this is fun. Oh my god, I'm having fun. Even though I'm getting flustered. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching and um, like leave a comment what you think about this game if you have played it yourself it's only like seven euro on uh, on steam or like i said if you're a humble monthly subscriber you just get it for free like me so um if you haven't tried it try it i'd say try it P probably try it like i did like for free because i don't think you should pay money for it because i am pretty sure that like 80% of people are gonna get this because they watched like PewDiePie Markiplier play this game and are like, oh lol, I'm gonna do it because of the meme, I'm gonna do it because it's it looks funny if other people are raging about this. <sighs> but props to PewDiePie Markiplier, they actually like are kind of proficient in games and they have like the perseverance to go, go through hard games easily and um, I don't know, I don't think you... Uh, if you just be like, lol, I'm just gonna try it, um, then probably not your game. I don't know. At least nothing to pay for. Anyway, but this is episode one. Again, rambling for two minutes, for three minutes. Of course, always me. Anyway, <laughs> see you in the next episode, okay? Um, goodbye, my friends.